Hello, I'm Joe Scrabbles. This is the IGN E3 2018 booth. It's looking very good. And if you can't tell from my accent, we are about to talk about football <laughs> or soccer, if you like. I'm joined by Adam from the PES 2019 team, and we are going to get a first look at the game. World exclusive. World exclusive, First indeed. look at PES. We just released the E3 trailer, which hopefully we can see. Um, and it's such a special moment for us to be able to open such an amazing show for you guys with the first look at PES 2019. Oh man, it's super exciting. I mean, oh, here it is. walk us through what we're looking at. Well, what, what you're looking at is a game which looks absolutely incredible this year. We, we, we made a big decision mm -hmm. quite early on. We've been talking about this new three-year plan and you can see Coutinho coming out looking like a picture, uh, you know, uh, real life. We, we decided to go G4 only, which means current-gen system. Uh -huh. So your PS4, your your Xbox One platforms and you know PC Steam and what that's allowed us to do is make the game look absolutely incredible all that memory and power mm. we're able to do some amazing things with the visuals with the animation system um, and I think this year when it when it comes to sports games and actually games in general I mean already at the show you've seen some amazing looking games and I think Pez is up there as well oh man well I mean from a personal perspective what I'm really interested in is the number of haircuts that David Beckham has <laughs> in this game yeah. uh, I've seen several authentic looking do's and this trailer features two of them already excellent so actually that's a really really funny thing because obviously we have different versions of Beckham in the game Beckham's <laughs> the um, the, the lead for our um, legend players, yes, and he has his own version, the David Beckham edition as mm -hmm. well. And we have uh, the 40 year old Beckham 3D scan with all the tattoos, which you'll see in the trailer. And then from back in the day, we've got a Beckham from 2002 featuring in the trailer as well. And Maybe. currently in the game as well, there's the there's a Beckham from the from the halfway line goal as well. But we have a lot of conversations uh, with his team about the different stats through the years and what to rate the player, which haircut to use. That, that must up. be <laughs> so nerve-wracking going up to David Beckham being like, I mean, this year you weren't quite as good as the other year. Like, Excellent point. Yeah. Actually, when we were doing the different versions of Beckham, the 2002 version mm. was one stat higher, as you can see him scoring the free kick. Yeah. It was one stat lower than the previous one, and we're trying to explain how he won the European, or he came, I think, second in the European Player of the Year mm -hmm. in that particular year, and it makes sense to make him higher rated as well. So, yeah, we do have those kind of conversations. I remember with a previous uh, cover stars, their stats mean a lot to them as well. Yeah, so, of course. So, so, so it's a good conversation. And in terms of, I mean, we could talk about David Beckham for the entire slot. I, I mean, I definitely could. <laughs> I love the man. Um, but there's so much more to talk about in PES 2019. Oh, it's like, crazy. You've announced, what, seven new leagues? Seven That's new right. licensed leagues? Seven right now. Oh, nice. Um, and here is the gameplay as well, so you this can see is. the new game plan uh, uh, pre-match screens. I mean, what we've announced is a brand new initiative. Mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to get away from having licenses which don't give us any teams to getting loads which do. So yeah. we've announced seven so far. Uh, with more to come. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, we've said nine, but actually it's a minimum nine. We are really trying to okay. raise that number. So that discussion is still going on? Absolutely. Right, right, right. So, listen, you can test me here. We've got Argentina, Belgium, Denmark, uh, Portugal, Switzerland, Scotland, and exclusive uh, Russia, mm -hmm. Superliga. So we've got a lot of amazing stuff going on with the licenses. Um, but with the gameplay is where Pez is at. I know, yeah. you know, what what you can see here is is the visuals that I was talking about <laughs> with the visuals that I was talking about. The lighting is absolutely insane, and what you're seeing here is the, is the Camp Nou, mm -hmm. which is exclusive to Pez as well. Nice. And you got the new uh, grass textures. There's the quick sub icon now as well. I was going to say, have we got quick subs? Absolutely, yeah. So with the PS4, you just use the touchpad. Oh, nice. And it sort of pops up, and you can just change uh, super quick. But I think. The most important thing for us is that gameplay, and and you can see the way that the game is still very considered, mm -hmm. uh, very slow. We've taken into account the player stats in the trailer. We emphasize the 11 new skills, which mm -hmm. kind of brings out the individuality of the players a little bit more. So with Firm, Firmino, you've got the no-look pass. It's a quick free kick. I think it was a free <laughs> kick. I think it was take a free kick. So. You can see again the, the visuals, you know, how they actually pop in, because what we're doing is 4K HDR. Right. So gotcha. I think we're playing through a pro here, 
Oh, oh not nice. quite. <laughs> you know, so with the licenses, with the visuals, two really, really big things. Mm -hmm. The other one is the release date. Yeah. August. 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 End of that August. That is early. Yeah. It's early for early. us. It's the earliest. But as a as a football fan, I'm going to yeah. call it football. Um, oh yeah. You really want to be able to start the season. Yeah. And actually get into it with the hype. You know. Now that we have the live updates for the transfers, I was going to say transfers. It's always going to be updated. For, yeah, for the opening of the season, like exactly. sometimes the games have come out without the, the like the newest rosters in there. So can we expect to see like it's all going to be up to date as and when? Exactly, exactly. Maybe. And and I think I think for us that is very important to have. What I will say is have our own window, mm -hmm. have our own release window, and uh, <laughs> nice little save there, Carius. Guys playing the game are absolutely yeah. losing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's just having our own window. Mm. It allows us to talk about us, you know, and it allows everyone to judge Pez by itself. It's, I think the media, you know, you guys, and you know, you will always com compare yeah. uh, with whatever the other game is in the genre, mm -hmm. no matter what genre it is. But for us, we wanted to move away from that, give ourselves some space, give give Pez the opportunity to, to be judged for, for its own quality. And I think, for me, that's the beauty of Pez, is when you experience it and when you actually play it, um, it really, really draws you in. Are you able to talk about uh, any playable demo beforehand yet? Or? So, what I will say is that we're going to announce the demo details mm -hmm. at our major eSports final event which is on July 21st. Okay. It's being held in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. We're going to announce a few things at the show. Okay. So this is definitely a world exclusive because we're going to mention this later on our live stream, which we're going to be doing that, uh, uh, f uh, from our stand later. Mm -hmm. But I will let you guys have it. Um, on the 21st, we are going to announce the demo details. And we're, I'm really happy to say that over the previous years, we've kind of separated the PC demo from, right, yes. from the consoles. But this year, it's not the case. It will be day and day. date. PC Steam demo will be released on PS4 and Xbox One. And getting back to the, what you were talking about, about this, this three-year plan for yes. Pez. I mean, I'd love to hear where you're kind of at with that right now. Well, like, you know, what are we, what are we seeing in Pez 2019 that, that speaks to that, that plan coming to fruition? Mm. I think it's, I, you know, honestly speaking, I think it's about us making a conscious decision to, to take the visuals and to take the way the game moves to a new level for us, maybe industry standard, maybe a little bit above it. You know, we have this amazing engine in Fox and we've been working with the PS3 and Xbox 360 in a way which allows us to work well together right. with, with both uh, generations, taking into account, it gets very boring, but you know, taking into account all the memory and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And we really wanted to unleash ourselves. Yeah, you're just unshackling yourself from exactly. having to deal with. A great example that we've got in the game this year is hopefully people can see on the stream just how the level of detail stays in gameplay cam. Mm -hmm. So it's this new dynamic oh. res... Oh, oh, he's oh that is gorgeous. Beautiful back heel. That's proper Barcelona. Right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, 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 that, it's that resolution that we got in the game mm -hmm. during gameplay cam, which again isn't possible unless you are really maxing out what your engine can do. Right. So it keeps it as high res as possible. If you've got an Xbox One X or a uh, you know, PS4 Pro or a really nice PC, it's going to keep it at 4K mm -hmm. all throughout. And being able to see the structure of the players, those three stripes that tick, even from such a far angle, mm. allows us to really draw you in and make you feel like you're watching an actual football match as well. And for me, that is one of the biggest things that we've done in terms of part of the three-year plan, obviously the licenses, you know. Yeah. Being able to maximize the memory and the capacity means that we can add minimum seven new leagues and hopefully many more as well. Cool. So I think th th there's going to be a lot, um, a lot more updates. Mm -hmm. Fans can expect more consistent updates from us as well. And we've also done a lot of interesting work with our modes as well, with my club. We've actually changed it to the player card system you can actually, when you actually sign a player from an agent, you can get three players rather than just one in a pack. Okay. So there's a lot of changes going on in Master League. We've, we've listed the fans with the transfers. Oof. Um, and just just watching that back as well, it was crazy. Um, 
you know, uh, and and w with the ICC, which is the which is kind of the biggest uh, pre-season tournament, okay. the International Champions Cup, which is actually now in Master League as a pre-season as well. Okay. So absolutely fantastic. It's great to see the keeper just take his hand away because he knows the ball's going wide as well. There's so much amazing little animation in the game which really, really draws you in, makes you feel like it's, uh, you know, real and, and it's not a video game, it is actual players. I was, I was going to ask you, I mean, you're highlighting these 11 new skills which are all very sort of defined new skills, that, yeah. you know, their abilities essentially. Exactly. Like on, a, on a sort of wider level, you talked about the goalkeeper taking his hand away, like what's happened with, you know, we're like passing, touching, tackling, what sort of stuff are we looking at? The, the, the kind of grand scale changes that are, we're going to feel moment to moment. I think I think when it when it when it comes to the gameplay, one of the biggest things that we've done is the actual dribbling has a lot of contextual animation, which adds in weight and realism. Mm -hmm. So how the player is moving is based on where he's facing. You won't see a player dart at 180 degrees as you won't see in real life, but right. you'll see them shift it into that animation. Mm -hmm. Same with the passing as well. They'll be trying to use their, their favoured foot so sometimes if they can't if it's too much power it will be misplaced a lot of fans wanting the shooting change we, we, we worked on that with the animation if a player hits a strong shot with his wrong foot it will go way wide as it should in real life okay. we've done a lot of groundwork in the, in the actual game so, so, so really it's, about, it's about making it feel like as much as playing it you're watching a real game of football as a well absolutely and it's a simulation mm -hmm. but it's Pez we have to keep it responsive, we have to keep it fun. So, but with that, with the realism, with the weight, I think it's looking really good. I think we've again found that balance. Something that we always manage to do every year is find that balance, I think. And last year was a huge success and we hope we can give the fans even more this year. That's great. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cut it there at 90 minutes. We don't get to see the end. Nearly. I think Barcelona were going to win. Yeah, slightly, yeah. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us, Adam. That was PEZ 2019. There is so much more to come from E3 2018 with IGN. So keep it locked with us. But for now, we'll say goodbye.